Fancy a lift? Both literally and metaphorically, Volocopter is a German startup that makes all electric flying taxis. And after testing them in Singapore, the company is now hoping for approval in the United States and the European Union. Some of the big names backing Volocopter include Daimler and Intel. Florian Reuter is the CEO of Volocopter and he joins us now. Florian, fantastic to have you on the show. Just explain what makes the Volocopter different from an ordinary helicopter and why you expect and uh, want to see the US and Europe sign off on getting these in cities. Yes, good morning. So great good to be morning. with you. Um, Volocopter is different to a traditional helicopter in numerous ways, right? There had been uh, several technological advances that now enable us to build aircraft that weren't possible in the past. A Volocopter is electrically powered. So we have a battery as the main energy source. We have 18 uh, independent rotors. So we have a huge redundancy in our electric propulsion train, meaning that if a critical component fails, we can still compensate for it and continue our, safe, uh, our flight safely, uh, ultimately resulting in unprecedented uh, safety levels, which is what really triggered the interest of the regulators all around the world, uh, you know, acknowledging that now we can build vehicles that are much safer, quiet and emission free. I mean, this is classic because that was going to be my next question was in New York City. We used to have helicopters flying around all over the place and it was safety concerns that, that locked it down. So it's the safety aspect that's interested cities. This is very important too. OK, autonomous or not? Because I've looked at pictures of this and I'm sure our beady eyed viewers will be looking and trying to understand whether it's being flown or, or how it's operated. Walk us through that. So, as you rightly said, you know, certification is the key and in order to be certified, you need to validate and verify on, you know, how safe you are. EASA, the European Aviation Safety Agency, has set out a whole new regulatory framework for these types of novel aircraft and um, they demand us to be as safe as a commercial airliner. So, think of a flight in a volocopter as being as safe as a flight in a United Airlines flight. Um, when we now talk about the introduction, uh, you know, in cities, it's all about implementing the full ecosystem to then not only have a safe aircraft, but to also operate them safely. And all of those boxes uh, we can tick. Um, when talking to you know, the European Union versus uh, FAA and uh, in the US and the rest of the world, historically it's been that Airbus and Boeing, you know, FAA and the EASA have led the field in terms of regulatory frameworks. In this case, uh, the European Union has stepped forward. We are based in Germany, so we are, you know, eyeing to get fully commercially certified with EASA first. But now, very recently, we have um, you know, agreed with FAA that um, FAA is accepting the European Union safety standards, which offer, offers uh, the opportunity to do a concurrent validation, meaning we don't have to run through a separate certification process in the US. We will actually have to just simply hand in the documents that we are providing uh, in Europe, and that allows us to be, you know, to get the approval to fly in the US about three to six months later than uh, we will in Europe. And for Europe, we are about to start as early as within the next two years. Wow, it's fascinating. Um, again, we're just showing some video and you can't fail but notice the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore, that hotel um, clearly very legendary. I know you did test flights there. The talk is that within three years, you can have these um, volocopters up and running and you're selling test flights, I think as well, or at least the early flights for, $360 for 15 minutes. Talk to me about what this is going to cost because that still feels really expensive. And with all the hype surrounding autonomous vehicles that they were promised in a few years, we're still waiting. Can you really get these things up in the sky in Singapore at the very least within three years? Absolutely, we can. And I think the footage that you just uh, commented on, you know, is, is proof point to that, right? We have a, a tremendous track record of public demonstrations, always with full approval of the respective authorities. You know, we will have flown autonomously in Dubai as early as 2017. We received our first approval to participate in the German airspace uh, you know, back in 2016. That's almost five years from now. So we have a tremendous track record of that. Um, when we now look at uh, you know, the deployment in Singapore, as I mentioned earlier, EAS and FAA historically have led the, the, the way in terms of introducing new types of technologies. But clearly here, the huge market opportunity lies you know, in the mega cities in Asia. And that's why we have a very strong focus in Asia. We make sure that the regulators you know, on the ground are familiarize themselves with our technology. They are on board with our you know, certification process in Europe. That goes all the way to, for example, with the Civil Aviation Authority in Singapore. We have agreed a same day certification as in Europe. 
meaning we're opening up these markets from a regulatory perspective as we move forward to complete our certification process in Europe. In terms of pricing, you know, we will be able to offer you know, flights in the order of between two and 300 euros from the start, 200, 300 bucks, depending on, on currency, you know, from the start. Of course, our intention is to move to much lower price points as we scale our um, you know, manufacturing and also as we scale our operations. We believe a price point in the range of a today's taxi is attainable, um, wow. but I would suggest that's about five years out there. Oh, Florian, come back and talk to us sooner. I want to track your the progress. I just want to nominate myself if you ever want to test these in New York or are allowed to. I'm here. It looks amazing. Florian Rutter, CEO of Helicopter, said thank you so much.